is an, an associate professor in neurosurgery and otolaryngology, speci specializing in endoscopic and open skull base uh, procedures, as well as epilepsy at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, he is a, a fellow University of Wisconsin Badger, so go Badgers. Um, worked at the NIH uh, and completed a Howard Hughes Fellowship. Um, trained in neurosurgery at the Mayo Clinic and cranial, uh, cranial fellowship in the University of South Florida. Um, he is an education vice chair, program director of neurosurgery, um, and uh, finds many other time to do very productive scholar activities in what I imagine is a very busy practice, and we're delighted to have stolen him away to Hawaii to talk to us about surgical management. Thank you, Dr. Strim. <clears throat> and thanks to the uh, organizers, course, especially Dr. Mosler, for uh, giving me the time and the honor to talk to you all. Um, I've, I'm kind of recognizing that I'm an underrepresented minority within the speakers up here. And uh, hopefully, you know, what I was asked to talk about is wh when to get a surgical opinion. But I, I think the, the point is, is we all kind of need friends in our, in our surgical fields. And I'm very honored to be part of a multidisciplinary uh, practice in which you know, when I have a question, I can, I can call Dr. Strand, and I can talk, call Dr. Mosher, many of my colleagues, and I'd encourage you to, to try to find a neurosurgeon to lean on in your practices, because the, the truth is, is that the earlier a question is asked, as you all know, or the earlier a uh, referral is made, usually the better the patient is going to do, and ultimately, the, the, the happier they're going to be with your care, because they're going to understand what, what can be done for them. I have a bevy of disclosures. Uh, the one that is relevant to what we'll just mention a little bit about today is I do have a relationship with Medtronic uh, in which they, uh, um, we have some co-granted uh, uh, money through the NIH. In addition, uh, we're gonna talk about an uh, off FDA uh, or FDA non-approved use of one of their devices that you, some of you are familiar with. Our objectives today are to describe appropriate patient surgical referrals for trigeminal neuralgia, describe the clinical presentation of pseudotumor cerebri, describe the clinical presentation of low uh, CSF uh, pressure headaches, CSF hypotension, and describe clinical presentation of Chiari malformations. Uh, and I'm going to be a little bit heavier on the case-based presentation, so I apologize for that. I don't know if we're going to get through these all in time. but So we have a 31-year-old male, six-month history of, epi of uh, episodic excruciating pain around the right eye with radiating pain to the cheek. In addition to that, the patient has excessive tearing and a runny nose on the right during these events. And given that very small amount of information, I'd like you to tell me what you think the most likely diagnosis for this patient is. 